Hello everyone, my name is Kiri Knutson and I work for NDSU Extension in Grand Forks County as the Horticulture Agent. Today we're going to be discussing how to thin those seedlings that you started a couple weeks ago. Generally when we start seeds, we tend to plant them a little bit thicker than we need because germination is not always 100% and this will allow you extra seedlings to only pick out the healthiest ones for your garden. We want to make sure that we thin our seedlings because overcrowding will lead to plants whose root systems and stems are intertwined. The plants might also be leggy and they're just not very vigorous and won't do well in an outside garden setting. So there are two ways to thin your seedlings. When you start thinning seedlings, you want to make sure they have at least two or have at least their true leaves. So here I have some broccoli seedlings that have been growing for a couple weeks. They are just starting to get their second true leaf, so I'm going to thin them out. The first way is simply with the scissors. Just picking out the seedlings that are the strongest and healthiest and keeping them and then using the scissors to cut off the stem at the soil surface. So I'm going to thin out this path right here. And you don't want to just rip off the seedlings. You don't want to pull them out by their roots because this will disturb the roots and the soil of the seedlings you want to keep and you might have some unintended plant loss. So there we go. Easiest way, I've thinned out that cell right there of my broccoli plant. Now another way to thin your seedlings, especially if this is a little bit painful for, to you, for you after you've spent all that time caring for their seedlings, you can transplant those seedlings. So simply take the seedlings out of whatever container you use to start them in. Keep them in a moist paper towel so that the roots don't dry out and you're just gonna gently separate the seeds. Now I am using a craft stick, but you can also use a pencil as well. So you're gonna go in there and you're gonna separate out the seedlings, still only picking out the healthiest seedlings to transplant. So this I believe is a cabbage seedling, the great healthy root system. And I'm gonna use my pencil or my craft stick to make a nice hole or divot in my cell and use the tip of the pencil or the craft stick to gently push in the roots of my seedling. Now you want to put the seedling in a little bit deeper than the roots are and that should help you with the seedlings becoming leggy. Then use your fingers to firmly press the seedling so it's in close contact with the soil and there you have your seedlings transplanted. So two ways to thin out your seedlings, either using a scissors to cut off the seedlings that you don't want keeping only the healthiest, or you can transplant the seedlings into new containers as well. Thanks.